Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima bar'ai ila habati fillah. Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamahu, he said in his treaties, هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا نبغض الأحزاب المعاسرة حزب الشوعية حزب الشوعية الملحد وحزب البعثي الملحد والحزب الناصري الملحد وحزب الاشتراقي الملحد والحزب الرافضي المارك ونرى أن الناس ينقسمون ينقسمون إلى الحزبين حزب الرحمن وهم الذين تنطبق عليهم أركان الإسلام وأركان الإيمان غير راضين شيء من شرع الله وحزب الشيطان وهم محاربون لشرع الله The Shaykh said, Rahmatullah regarding Hezbiyah, he said, and we detest uh, the partisanship, this, this modern day partisanship or sectarianism. And then he mentioned, for example, Hezb Shu'i, meaning the, uh, communism and communists, communist parties, the heretics, heretic communist parties, and Hizb Ba'thi al-Mulhid, like what Saddam Hussein and his party was the, the ruling party in Iraq before, at the time of Saddam Hussein, and during the current reign up until now in Syria which uh, being the head of that party, being uh, Bashar al-Assad, and that they are mulhid, that they are heretics outside the fold of Islam, a type of kufr and heresy, and Hizb al-Nasri al-Mulhid, and also the Nasri, Nasri uh, uh, sect, which is a... Uh, meaning Jamal al-Din Abdul Nasser who was a basically a communist leader in Egypt and through his politics and rulership spread facade and evil throughout Egypt as well as Hizb Ishtaraki meaning socialism and the Hizb al-Rafidi, meaning the Ruafid Shi'i and their sects and sectarianism. And the Rafida being those people who derived from those people who had rejected Zayd ibn Ali when he uh, when they asked him about Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. And he they asked him, they were making imtihan of him. They were questioning him and testing him. And he said, Rahimahullah, you know, may Allah have mercy upon them, loving them as Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'in. And then they said after that, they said, then we reject you. Eden narfaduka. So they said, then we reject you. They rejected him. Why? Because he said, may Allah have mercy upon those two Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. And then he said, leave, for verily you are Rafida. You know, leave me, you are Rafida. You are those people who reject me. You reject the Sahaba. You reject the Siratullahi Mustaqeem. And likewise, then the Shaykh said, and we see that people are divided into two parties, or two groups. Hizb rahman meaning the party of the most merciful, and they are those who practice the, the pillars of Islam and the pillars of Iman, and they are pleased with everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's legislation. And the other party is the Hizb Shaitan, is the party of the devil. And those people are those people who fight 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's legislation, his rulership, his deen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem inna al-ladheena faraku deenuhum wa kana shi'an lastum lasta minhum fi shay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-An'am that verily those who divide their religion into groups or sects that they are, or parties, they, uh, you know, there is no substance to them. Letting us know <coughs> that the Hezbo Hezbollah, Hezbollah, the true Hezbollah, not meaning the, the Hezbollah, which is really a Rafida party, a Rafida, Rafida uh, political group or organization, which resides in, it is based in Lebanon, which was trained by Iran. And they are a Shia militia or a big organization. And their belief is the belief of the Rafida, and those who hold the belief of the Rafida from amongst them are disbelievers, those people who make takfir of the Sahaba and make takfir and claim Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha was a zania, an adulteress, and all kind of other wicked claims that they hold, and they make takfir of Ahl Sunnah and fight and wish to kill Ahl Sunnah and spread their disbelief throughout the world, throughout the earth. And Shaykh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said about the Rafida, he said, uh, as was mentioned in his book, Minhaj Al-Sunnah, he said, Akfar min Yahud wa Nasara. He said that they have more disbelief than the Jews and the Christians. Because in fact, if someone is affirmed to be Rafidi, that there's no doubt that they are hold the belief and the, and the disbelief that uh, that is contained in that creed of you know the infallibility of their imams and all the other aspects of their creed, which is in total contradiction to Islam and takfir of the Sahaba and all the other usul and deen that they differ with Ahl Sunnah with then if someone holds that view, you cannot eat their, you cannot pray behind them, you cannot eat their uh, slaughtered animals, their meat, uh, and you cannot marry them, and all the other ahkam that are related, because they are not even from Ahl Kitab, unlike uh, Jews and Christians, where a Muslim man, he can marry a Jewish woman, that's chaste, or a Christian woman, that's chaste, but he's not allowed to marry a Hindu woman, or a Sikh, or a Rafida, or a Shi'i, or anyone who disbelieves in Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who has left the fold of Islam, whether they, they left it through uh, knowingly or unknowingly. That if they are not from the classification, either that they're Muslim, or either that they are from Ahl Kitab, the people of the book, then they are not permissible for marriage. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem wa a'tasubu bi habli lai jami'an wa la tafarraku. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah, and do not divide. So do not be divided into groups and sects. And beware of those things which will cause you to fall into sectarianism and those things which dis, uh, are displeasing to Allah And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.